I went to graduate school in Brown University in Rhode Island, and my thesis advisor was involved in what's called the Viking mission. In Viking, the U.S. put two landers on the surface of Mars in 1976, so I was fortunate enough to participate in that. And that was really groundbreaking. And then my interest in Mars and Venus and the Earth is just carried on to Washington University when I came in 1974. This was the beginning of Ray Arvidson's 50-year career as a leading Mars researcher. Since then, I've participated in practically every Mars mission uh, that was successful. He's been part of many exciting discoveries about the red planet through orbiting missions and robotic missions on the Martian surface. During those 50 years, Arvidson has been a NASA science team member, deputy principal investigator for Mars Exploration Rovers, and an explorer. Totally exciting. You come in a day after a drive and you're seeing for curiosity, you know, a brand new terrain with exciting possibilities. As technology advanced, NASA provided Arvidson with virtual boots on the ground alongside the Mars Curiosity rover. This is used for path planning. So I'm now positioned so I can see the likely drive and I'm looking up at Mount Sharp and then back at, at the rover. I'm gonna actually walk the scene and look at the rocks and we wanna avoid the sharp rocks. So I'm gonna note that that's a sharp rock to avoid. For 48 years, Arvidson's work in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences helped light the path for generations of Washington University students. Mojave River at, at its best is mainly running underground, but are all these little streamlets, it's called a nastamosing. And he made a real difference for the future of Mars exploration. His extensive work with NASA provides many insights and discoveries. Mars has given up a lot of secrets. It still has a lot. But clearly, long ago, billions of years ago, this planet was warm and wet and Earth-like. So what we're after is whether or not it was habitable and whether or not the life started there. The world's fascination with Mars has put Ray Arvidson's work in the spotlight, and Mars is represented in pop culture, which is something Arvidson appreciates. We've all read the book. We've been seen the movie like 10 times. So without further ado. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates and to NASA. I retired at the end of June. Surprise. My title now that I retired James S. McDonald, Distinguished University Emeritus. Emeritus just means that you're retired. He's still involved with the science and path planning for curiosity. Now I'm a backseat driver. And you know, backseat drivers, the, the driver doesn't really like that advice all the time, but you're still gonna give it. And you don't wanna tell them, I told you so afterward. To celebrate his 50-year career and retirement, Arvidson is giving a presentation that's open to the public called My 50 Years Exploring Mars, From the Viking Landers to the Perseverance Rover. It's important to me because it's really a capstone to my career. During the presentation, Arvidson will share the science and stories from behind the scenes. There are many. Arvidson had missions that involved adjusting his clock to a Mars day, which is 39 minutes longer than a day on Earth. I think I'm the, the human being with the most time living on Mars time in the whole world. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. And speaking of the Martian, one of many fun stories Arvidson plans to share at his 50-year career celebration and in the HEC story to follow is about that time when... We were trying to find a landing site for Perseverance. And my presentation about Jezero was right after lunch. So I went with my friends to a deli in Glendale, California. Freaking Matt Damon walks by. So let's do the math. Which I have a funny story about if you attend. This public lecture I'm doing on September 7th to illustrate why we're exploring the solar system. So fun, because you're really seeing things that no human has ever seen before and making discoveries that are eventually going to tell us more about the Earth.